October 10th is World Mental Health Day. That's the same day a movie shot in Oklahoma will actually be shown nationwide exploring that subject. Kyle Roberts is the creative director on the movie. He's joining us this morning with a little preview and a little backstory about this film that was all shot here in Oklahoma. Good morning and thanks for being with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on. Some folks may recall earlier in the summer we had a conversation with some of the actors and uh, that was kind of just the, the unveiling of that film. Talk to us a little bit about the movie itself. Yeah, so the synopsis is it, uh, What Rhymes With Reason. It has six teenagers. It's centered around six teenagers, and there's an absolute tragedy uh, that happens in their life. And through this tragedy, it ignites them uh, to embark on this quest in the wilderness to find this legendary landmark. Uh, so it has these kind of Goonies vibes, uh, a little bit of Stand By Me uh, mixed with, like, um, Otter Banks, <laughs> which is super fun. Um, but, you know, through through this adventure, it really allows them to break down these barriers and walls and have these honest conversations about anxiety, depression, um, thoughts of suicide, um, and, we, and even panic attacks um, in this film um, and really exploring all these things through this adventure um, lens that's family friendly, <laughs> by the way, too. Right. Let's take a quick look at a part of the trailer. Here we go. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Billy, coming at you with another video. I'm here with the squad. We must follow the clues to Zion Point, a mysterious location that cannot merely be found on Google Maps. Trust me, I've tried, and it all starts at Worthington Acres, hey, baby. Stop, guys. When my dad brought me on this trip, it ignited my love for adventure. This is once in a lifetime. Let's make it count. Jesse, the media shower's in two days. What's well, a three-day round trip? Can't we find another time? We don't always get another time. I know there's a million reasons not to, and I don't blame you guys if you say no, but I'm watching that shower from Zion Point. You know, last night by the campfire, you said, God has a plan for everyone. You really mean that? Hey, what happened to the gunshots? Yo, that was crazy. Those guys had, like, like, real guns. I feel so alive right now. Okay, do you guys think this is a joke? Because we could literally all die out here. Yeah, as we watch a little bit more of this clip, I mean, the, the thing about this, this was all mostly shot in Oklahoma. Is that right, Kyle? Yeah, all in Oklahoma. Yeah, and what was that experience like? I mean, you have these young actors coming together and really kind of out in the wilderness almost. Yeah, it's, you know, I'm a, I'm from Oklahoma, from OKC. Uh, it's such an amazing time to be a creative in Oklahoma. Uh, we have a great film incentive program, and uh, even on an independent film like this, we had 18 shooting days in 16 different locations, so we were moving right. <laughs> all over Oklahoma, uh, and it was a blast. I feel like everyone of our cast and crew understood the mission of this film and, and what we set out to do, which is encouraging conversation around mental health. I feel like we all understood the assignment, so to say, and right. it didn't feel like just a normal project. It felt like we were all there on this, like, you know, higher calling and mission. Um, and it was it was incredible experience for sure. Katie Burgess is a Tulsa native who plays Savannah in the movie. We're going to look at a little bit of video behind the scenes of that. But she even mentioned herself having struggled with mm. um, depression. And so each of these characters kind of embraced and personified kind of what a lot of a lot of people are experiencing these days. Yeah, absolutely. That was, uh, you know, one of our big goals with this film, one, to earn the right to be heard from youth and families. And through that, through this story and through our actors, uh, make sure it's very real um, and honest. Uh, the CDC shares that suicide is the number two cause of death today, uh, starting at um, age 10 with our youth. Um, which is is absolutely heartbreaking. Um, so to make sure and have a story that really tackles this stuff is fun and is also a story of hope, which is something that shows like 13 Reasons Why, you know, does not have. Right, right. Talk to us a little bit about the importance of 988 and that particular number for people in need. Yeah, 9 and 8 is a partner of ours. It's, it started as a, a local partner in Oklahoma, and then now that we have this nationwide release, uh, it's now a national partner of ours, uh, along with the Action Alliance. And 9 and 8 is so um, vital because it gives a very easy resource, a free resource. You could text or call 988 from any uh, any number, uh, any phone, uh, and there's someone on the other line to listen and, and help you. Um, and I, I absolutely love that. I had some investigating to do when we <laughs> 
partnered with them, right. so I called them, and I was grieving from losing my mom to breast cancer. I mean, October is also Breast Cancer you know, Awareness Month, and um, they helped me connect with a local nonprofit here in Oklahoma City, and I still go to them every other month and talk to them. That's awesome. Just want to mention, the movie's going to be out next Tuesday, a one-day-only thing, one of those fa Fathom fa fa Event, yes. yes. Thank you. And it's going to, so check lo local listings, because they'll be here in the Tulsa area for sure, and, you know, if you are struggling, 988 is the number to call. Uh, it's called Rhymes, What Rhymes with Reason. Kyle, thank you so much for being with us today, and thank you for pouring into this movie as well. And we look forward to other projects you'll be working on down the road. Absolutely. I want to share one more thing if I can. Sure. Uh, if they miss that 1010 date, we also have an option on our website, wrwrfilm.com, where you can actually host it at your local school or church all throughout the country. Perfect. Well done. Thank you for that update. All right. Talk to you later. Take care. All right. Thanks. You are more likely to find a four leaf clover than winning the Powerball. The amount of money the winner's expected to walk away with if somebody wins tonight.